Hey guys, you're watching Tech Radar. I'm Basil, and today we're going to be talking about two phones, the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL. Both are gonna be launched on October the 4th, but we think we know quite a lot about these already. To start off with, the Pixel 2 looks like it's going to be made by HTC, a very traditional design similar to older Pixels. The screen will be relatively small, roughly five inches, but this time around, things are getting interesting. You've got stereo speakers, you've got IP68 water and dust resistance, and you've got no headphone jack so it's pretty on par with the iPhone 8. We think we're gonna get three colors of the Pixel 2. Kind of blue, just black, and clearly white. So Google's clearly sticking to their fun naming mechanism. As for price and storage, the 64 gigabyte Pixel 2 looks like it's gonna cost $649, whereas the 128 gigabyte Pixel 2 looks like it'll cost $749. It's really nice to see that the base model is doubled in capacity. Now on to the Pixel 2 XL, and it kind of looks like it's going to be an LG V30 Google Pixel love child. Reason being, it's got a 6-inch relatively bezel-less Quad HD OLED display. Sound familiar? Yep, the LG V30 display looks like it is making a comeback. Only two colors have been confirmed for the Pixel 2 XL, just black and black and white, which kind of looks like a funky panda. As for price, the Pixel 2 XL 64 gigabyte looks like it's gonna cost $849, whereas the high capacity 128 gig version, $949. Now, neither of these are gonna be expandable, but there are some similarities between these two models that look like they'll be very, very good. Not least of all the operating system. Stock Android inside, Android 8, Android Oreo. And it looks like HTC's squeezy tech introduced on the HTC U11 is making a comeback, both on the LG Made XL and the regular sized Pixel 2. For anyone who hasn't seen the U11, that means you can squeeze the sides of the phone and engage with an action, Google Assistant, or a customizable one if the U11 is anything to go by. When it comes to the cameras, both of these phones look like they have a ginormous lens around the back, not too different in size from the fingerprint scanner. That's gonna suggest you've got a massive sensor and that in turn suggests excellent low light performance. Doesn't look like there's gonna be optical image stabilization on here, but the electrical image stabilization held everything really still for the Pixel. So yeah, it's gonna be at least very good. The front camera looks like it's gonna be seven megapixels and we haven't heard anything about battery capacity just yet, but we'd hope the batteries would be at least as good as the predecessors. So that's what we know so far. Check back to TechRadar on October the 4th. That's when it's all gonna be made official in the evening if you're in the UK and in the daytime if you're in the US. In the meantime, techradar.com will give you up to the minute news on everything Google Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL. Thanks for watching.